hello welcome so i'm talking quietly because i think jamie's asleep upstairs but i'm introducing this vlog oh, why am i so low down anyway i am going to be vlogging today this video is actually in collaboration with studio i've worked with them on many videos before but i am doing another one with them which i'm really happy about because i love their headphones and i have a lot from them and use it every single day so i'll talk about that obviously once i've taken my face mask off and put some makeup on i will discuss that um so yeah my voice is a bit croaky because i've had a coffee and i don't know why that always makes that happen but yeah i don't know why i decided to introduce this vlog with a face mask on but anyway it's quite late um jamie was on like a late shift last night at mcdonald's so that's why we went to sleep quite late so we wake up quite late because i do like to have my good amount of sleep so that i can be productive during the day so i've had a coffee this morning and it's made my throat a bit croaky i've also had my oats and berries this morning and i decided to film myself putting this face mask on so i can put it on my social medias because this is my face mask that i have in my skincare range for my homemade products that i do um but i'm actually going to use this vitamin c sheet mask i included it in my haul the other day it was a beauty haul featuring stuff from the body shop and this was one of them so i'm going to use that tonight so you'll see that um but yeah also i think last night was the the last night that jamie will be working at mcdonald's due to the coronavirus i'll talk about that a little bit later on in this vlog but yeah mcdonald's has now decided to close which is just crazy like i don't know what's happening right now but i'm gonna go for a food shop today um because i always do on a monday so i've got a few bits to get hopefully i'll be able to get something um last time i couldn't get toilet roll there was no bread there was no meat there was there was, there was literally nothing in the freezer like it, no milk it, it just it's mad, it's mad really but yeah anyway i'm gonna let this dry and then i'll wash it off and get back to you okay i've done my makeup now i obviously took the face mask off i've come into the kitchen i'm making jamie a tea and i'm gonna make some homemade soup i thought that considering i show like what i eat in the day videos i'll show you how i make the soup but it's not technically a what I eat in a day video but I'm still gonna show you I think it's a sweet potato I'm gonna make a sweet potato and lentil soup even though the only problem with that is is I don't have many lentils because I looked in the shops um, the other day and they didn't have any obviously because I don't have anything right now why is it not focusing on my face so yeah the kettle's boiling got my sweet potato got my lentils look how many there is there's like none in there it's nice and yes it's one of those things where it's just literally going to be like a really plain soup i might put an onion in as well or oh, and garlic for flavor when i make soups you don't actually need a recipe you can just chuck stuff in it just do jamie's tea I'm going for a food shop in a bit with my mum, so I thought that I'd quickly make this homemade soup and then I'll go. Right, okay, I think that's everything. Oh yeah, milk for the tea. So, this section of the vlog is in collaboration with Studio. I have worked with them on many videos before and I love their products and obviously I'm not going to lie because I have worked with them a lot before. You will remember if you are a subscriber, if you can hear anything, it's the toilet. I'm really sorry. It was flushed like 15 minutes ago and it's still going. Um, but anyway, so they asked if I wanted to work with them again and I was like, yeah, definitely because I love their products. I have got several headphones from them and also the last thing that i have was the studio tolve earphones they're like wireless and i use them every single day when i was going to uni i'd walk in listen to radio one with one of them in my ear and it just makes it so much easier instead of having like big chunky headphones on or having like a wire in i just really really like it and they asked if we could collaborate on this product so this is the studio femme earphones now i selected this particular color because i do have it in other colors too because i just wanted something different to my other ones the 12 ones that i've got are white 
and I love these. So they're a similar concept to the other ones, but a very different design and this is what you get in the box including also a charging cable as well so you get the actual earphones obviously and then you get the like charging point thing basically it's this case that you can keep it in and also you use it to charge it up so you just plug the wire in that they give you and charge it up and the charge lasts so long i literally like it lasts me like a month of charge or longer and this is daily use using it it lasts so so long so i'll just open it up obviously everything that they give is really good quality the packaging is really nice and so i'm just putting you down and you know it's all secure it comes with everything and interchangeable like sizes of the heads of the um earphones just in case it's a different size so these are them they look so cute now i like the fact that they come in a case because that just makes it so much like more transportable and easier and you're not going to lose them um so yeah you take them out like this put them in your ear i'll just put one in and i will do that no nope. it's already connected to my phone um because my phone obviously already connects to it but if you wanted to know how to connect to them go into settings on your phone when you're in settings go on bluetooth and then it will come up on this list it says studio fem click on that and it will connect obviously mine are already connected um because of that and then what you can do is just play anything so listen to the radio listen to youtube anything like that and then when you disconnect it just disconnect um, from bluetooth on your phone and then put them back in the case so i really love these i do have a code my code is georgie c that's all lowercase letters for 15 percent off uh, like i said i love their products it's really good quality they do work really well i would highly recommend them and i'm not just saying that i actually genuinely mean that and I always will say that about their products because I know how good they are because I've been using them for years because I've had a channel for years and I've worked with them on several different videos. So I really love it. Please go and check out the link in the description. I will link down this particular one. Obviously they have different colours. I'll link down their website and I will also um, remind you of the discount code Georgie C for 15% off and please go and check that out because they are amazing quality and I love them so yeah. Okay so today I'm going to be making some soup for lunch. I thought that I would show you me making it because obviously on this channel now I'm showing a lot of food related stuff. Now when it comes to like me tracking my calories and everything like that and what I eat in a day I can't, well I can if I want to but I don't do it when it comes to the soup because there's a lot of things that go into it and the portions that I get out of it, I just don't know because I just chuck stuff in. I don't actually follow a recipe. So I just sort of roughly guess and you know, it's soup. It's not gonna be that bad for you. So, you know, whatever. So I don't really track it too much when I have soup, but I thought I would show you what I'm making today. So I am literally just gonna be using things that I've got in my cupboards and in my fridge and things like that. Obviously when you go to the shops now, you can't really get that much. I've got a sweet potato, I did buy one, I like the flavour of it in soup, I absolutely hate it when it's roasted, honestly, worst thing it ever, like it literally makes me go, ugh, like, I don't like it, I don't really like roasted vegetables in general, the only thing that I do like roasted is potato, because it doesn't have like that sweet flavour, I just hate that, like, no, um, one red, oh, I just whacked myself in the face, one red onion that I'm going to cook, um, I might put a couple of cloves of garlic in just to give some flavour. Now I would preferably like to add in some more lentils than this, but I went to the shop and obviously they've sold out because everything's sold out right now, which is just wonderful. Seasonings, I've got some salt. In fact, I do need more salt, so maybe I should put that on my list because I'm going to do a food shop today. Pepper. And... It's going to put cinnamon in, that would be very strange. Um, what else? I've got um, like a fajita flavouring thing, it just adds like flavour to it. So I might add some of that in, it's just like a bit of extra flavour. Um, so I think that's everything, so I'll take you along. Okay, hello, welcome to Georgie's cooking show. Um, so get yourself a big pan and just turn the heat on 
and then apply, apply, it's like I'm doing a makeup tutorial, add in some oil. So I'm just gonna add a little bit in. This is just to fry the onion and the sweet potato a little bit, but obviously they are mainly gonna cook in water that I'm gonna add. Oh yeah, stock, I need a stock cube. That's what I need. Stock. If I've got one. I don't know if I've got one. It's not on my priority of things to get. Oh no, I do. Yeah, I'll put half a stock cube in as well. Okay, so I'm gonna get my chopping board and I'm gonna chop up my onion and my sweet potato. The sweet potato might take a little bit longer to chop because I need to peel it and I don't have a peeler so I'm gonna have to use a knife. So that's gonna be great fun. Oh yeah, I just realized I hadn't chopped up the onion and I was already putting the oil on. Don't start heating the oil until the onion is chopped. So let's get chopping. might be harder than I had originally thought. I'm crying <laughs> the onions. <laughs> right, I don't think this is working out for me. Right, come on Georgie. You can do this. Saw. Just keep sawing. I'm gonna put everyone off cooking by making this video. If at some point I don't chop my finger off, I don't know what's gone wrong because that is definitely going to be happening today. <laughs> I've done this before and I can't remember it being this bad. Oh my God, there's a line there, a line there, and a line there. It's not one of those ones where you can just saw it through to get stuck. Oh my God. Oh. Hello. Right. Turn that down a little bit. Oh yeah, I forgot I need to put my garlic in. Great. Okay, I don't know how to deal with this, but I think I'm just gonna do this, just chop it off. I'm not gonna worry about wasting too much of it because, you know, I've already wasted a lot of time trying to just cut through the damn thing. And then I'm gonna chop this up. I know you can't see it because it's rubbish in the way. Um, so yeah, just try, chop down as much as possible. I don't know how this knife hasn't broken. This is just so hard to cut through. I'm just gonna chop them in. They will be simmering for about an hour though. Okay, so finally I managed to add in all of the sweet potato, pretty much. Um, you can barely see the onion. I'm going to add the lentils in now. I think I might as well just add the whole of what's left. This is going to make a lot of soup, by the way. I obviously put most of this in the, fr in the fridge so I can have it all week. And obviously with this whole coronavirus thing, that is an excellent idea. So I'm boiling the kettle because I'm going to add that to this. And I'm also going to add in a stock cube as well. So I might just throw... Oh, there's... I'll just put this whole thing in. There's like three quarters of a stock cube. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'll just make it up as I go along. Add in a tiny bit of pepper. For some reason, this pepper is really strong. So I have to just add a little bit in, otherwise it gets too much. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of this fajita seasoning in, which sounds really weird, but it just gives it some kind of flavor that I kind of like. And also it's, you know, I need to use it up basically. It's not even coming out in the packet, for goodness sake. Right, well, that's a good sign that you need to get rid of that. Okay, so obviously I'm gonna add the water in. It's obviously looking very dry. And then I'll leave it simmer for like an hour. Sorry about the noise from the kettle. Because I went to Tesco the other day, I was looking for pasta. Obviously, I don't have pasta because somebody out there has probably got 50 bags in their house. But I did find this, and it's the Seeds of Change spinach and spinach trit trittoli. I don't know, but look how cool that pasta looks. 
Oh my god, I, I'm definitely gonna do a what I eat in a day and include this. It actually tastes really nice. Like it tastes like normal pasta. I got two bags. I'm not stockpiling, don't worry. But I got two bags because it was two for four pounds and obviously everybody else would have looked at them and thought, I'm not getting that. But it tastes exactly the same, so I really like it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna just turn the heat down to about two or three um, because I don't want it to start coming up and over when I'm gone because obviously Jamie's gonna be here but I'm gonna be out doing a food shop or attempting a food shop, we'll see what we get. Pour the water in. This is all the mess that's left behind but don't worry, I will tidy it up in a second. So, like I said, I don't use a recipe, I just do it by eye and just throw it all in. So I do put quite a lot of water in because like I said, it is gonna simmer down and it's actually there to cook the um, sweet potato and it'll inflate the lentils. Inflate, I don't think that's the technical term for that, but do you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna leave this here to simmer for about an hour whilst I go for a shop and that will get it nice and cooked and then I will put it in my trusty blender and serve. Okay, I do leave that like that. Oh. Well, I suppose it comes out like that. Does it? I don't know. I'll leave it slightly like that. There we go. That's better. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna leave it on three and if any problems, then I'm sure Jamie will let me know. Now to tidy up this mess. My mum's supposed to be picking me up to go for a food shop and she's not messaged yet. So I just got back from the shop with mum. I was gonna film like some of the stuff in there, like to show you the empty shelves, but there wasn't that much empty. The only thing that they didn't have any of was toilet roll, um, like zero, no pasta, not much meat, but I'll show you what I did manage to get. And also this is what my soup's looking like. It is done and I just need to put, it looks really disgusting, but you need to blend it. Um, and I'm gonna put it in the blender in a minute, but I got a loaf of bread because they're limiting people to one loaf per person, so that's good. Um, I got these as like my puddings in the evenings, so I'll have one of them a day. Um, orange juice, two thingies of sausages, oven chips, Chris, by the way, I live with Jamie as well, it's not just for myself, milk, and then two of these pasta bolognese. These were the only ones left, they didn't have any others. Spring onions, broccoli, mozzarella, sour sweets like Skittles. <laughs> Um, and then these fizzy belts, these are actually really good. I would recommend this from Lidl. Um, and then over here, another orange juice, peanut butter, peppers, courgettes, four courgettes, because I'm having that tonight for my tea, Kit Kats, um, these chocolate bars, and dark chocolate Alpro yogurts. I haven't tried these yet. I've tried the milk chocolate ones, but I really want to try these ones, so I'll let you know if I like them. But yeah, I'm gonna now put this into the blender and blend it up and then eat some of it and you know, I'm gonna have this with half a slice of bread and a Kit Kat. I'm going to be packing the stuff away when I've eaten my lunch. I put all the fridge and freezer stuff away, then everything else I pack away after I've had lunch because I'm hungry, it's like three o'clock. portion myself some out and then I will do the rest. I've got my little soup bowl up here or something. This actually looks nice. Right and then I will mix the rest in with this. Okay so my soup <clears throat> is done. This is what it looks like. I think that actually looks quite nice. So I'm gonna have a um, half a slice of bread with that. Get some from here and then a Kit Kat. Okay, hello. So it's now the evening and that is why I look like this, not the greatest. Um, I've had my um, evening meal, my tea or dinner, whatever you say, and I had um, courgettes. I had two courgettes with tomato, like sauce on top and cheese. Um, and then I had this like Nutella bar, it's like Be Ready Bar or something. They, they, they market it for breakfast, but do not eat that for breakfast. Um, 
Uh, so yeah, I had that. I'm gonna have a few sweets later on because I've got some leftover calories. But I was literally just watching the news where Boris Johnson announces that we're basically on lockdown where we can only leave the house for the supermarket or for like essential reasons basically or an exercise an exercise or two exercise once a day now i'm just going to state what i'm going to be doing so i pretty much stay at home most of the time anyway because you know i do stuff that involves me being at home i don't work or anything like that um the only sort of like areas where i get my revenue from and my money from is selling my products and youtube and sponsored videos so that's where i get my money from thank god um, i am gonna say though that i don't think i'm gonna be selling my products for a while due to this because obviously that will mean me having to go to the post office and all that sort of stuff and obviously it's not essential so i think i'm gonna go on my website and put everything as if it was out of stock so that it so that it means that people can't buy stuff otherwise i'll just have to refund them so i think i'm gonna do that um and then obviously when it's sort of died down a little bit you know bring it back on again um i am gonna be staying at home obviously and i'm gonna be doing what i would normally do in a day so cleaning around the flat i'm gonna be doing my daily workouts indoors so my hit workouts you know that's where i'm gonna get my like cardio from and my strength um toning um from i'm gonna be filming youtube videos so i'm still gonna be here i'm gonna be still posting youtube videos now more than ever i have time so i'm going to be doing that and also my ad revenue last month was like quadruple what it's been before so thank heavens so i that is well needed right now i could do with the money right now so i'm gonna to continue to post on here a variety of different content etc etc um, and I've got a couple of sponsored videos coming up too that's uh, been paid for. So this is my working from home and I'm really pleased about that. But my products, I'm just going to set them to the side for now. Um, and hopefully that will be okay when we come back. But I am also going to be going out for a run, I think probably three times a week. So I won't be leaving the house every day. I'll leave the house three days a week to go for a run, hopefully. And just kind of get like some fresh air. Mentally, it's good for you. Um, and it's just something to do just to make yourself feel a little bit better and a little bit more human um, and then I'll just come straight home and I'll just get on with the day and I'm going to try and have a routine as much as possible it's really important to get into a routine so that you don't kind of feel like you're out of it or anything like that and you don't feel really weird uh, we're made and we're designed to have a routine in life and to you know get on with things and I think that's important for us to do that um, and obviously I'm going to go for a food shop once every week. Luckily, I went for a food shop today. So that is that ticked off and sorted for the week. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. And I was not feeling too good earlier. I was feeling a bit sad because I'm the kind of person that really kind of thrives off socialising and being around people and just knowing that people are there. And just to know that you can walk out the door and everywhere's closed makes me feel like I'm not in control and makes me feel like... I can't do what I want you know do you know what I mean like obviously there's a reason for this but it just makes me feel a bit like weird but anyway you know hopefully everyone can get through this and also why not like surely staying there's worse things in life to be doing and to be going through than just sitting on your sofa at home so I think we're quite lucky that all we need to do is stay at home do you know what I mean so um yeah that's that over with i thought i would just sort of mention that so thank you for watching this video um i do hope you enjoyed please give it a thumbs up if you did um i don't want any controversial comments or anything like that um but yeah thank you for watching and remember to subscribe remember to click the link um in the description for the website for studio they are very very good i do really love them and i do stand by that so yeah and use my code georgie z for 15 percent off okay right thanks for watching and i will see you very soon goodbye